Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be reviewing the M4A5 Ram. This is a currently ranked 2 battle rating 3.7 medium tank in the American Ground Forces tech tree that costs 1150 Golden Eagles and comes with 10 backups. In this review, I'll be going over everything that you need to know about it, including its stats, how it plays, its strengths and weaknesses, I'll give some scores in several key areas, and then of course I'll give my final recommendation on if I feel if this vehicle is worth purchasing or not. As always, please consider consider subscribing if you'd like more content like this as I always greatly appreciate it. But with that said, let's get into the review. To start, I'll place its stat card here on the side of the screen. Important things to know are its armor thickness, its reload rate, and its armament. Now for how it plays. In short, the Ram 2 is built on the M3 Lee chassis, though it feels like a Sherman that has a somewhat different hull slash armor layout and of course a different cannon. Put simply, it plays like a slightly tankier, faster firing Sherman, though with worse post pen damage due to having solid shot 57 millimeter AP shells. With this said, the Ram 2 is very average in terms of overall mobility, but has a strong relatively high velocity cannon that can shoot through upwards of 120 millimeters of armor at max with its shot mark 9 AP shell, which is fantastic at 3.7 BR. Further, if the crew is fully aced, you can have as low as a 4 second reload, with an expert crew still having an excellent 4.3 second reload. Between this high armor pen and great reload, reload rate, you should be able to damage or destroy many enemy tanks substantially quicker than most other tanks would be able to. When you add in excellent survivability courtesy of the fantastic armor thickness and layout, you have a great low BR brawler. But the M4A5 can do almost any role competently, though what role you decide to play should be based almost entirely on if you are in an up tier or a down tier. Unfortunately, in my experience, the M4A5 has a propensity to get into full or nearly full up tiers of 4.3 or even 4.7 BR, which reduces the effectiveness of its armor, though the cannon should still be able to perform pretty well. When in an up tier, I would say that the Ram 2 is still a fantastic support tank, being able to ride in just behind the front and taking out enemy tanks that might be trying to flank you. When in a down tier, however, or when placed even in a 4.0 BR match, you can pretty much do what you want with this tank, and you'll probably do it well. Well, at least pretty much anything outside of scouting and flanking due to, again, its average mobility. Regardless, in a down tier, this tank can pretty much act like a heavy tank due to the excellent armor that it carries, meaning that you can frontline, brawl, and even snipe. When properly angling your frontal armor, the Ram 2 is nearly impossible for many similar or lower BR tanks to pen, because of how many curves it has and because it has very few weak spots. In all, however, the M4A5 can perform a multitude of roles and can adjust fairly well to whatever your preferred style of play might be. Now, with that being said, let's get into its strengths and weaknesses, and first for its strengths. The M4A5 has excellent armor. Not only is it relatively thick for this BR, but the armor layout of the Ram 2 also makes it incredibly difficult to pen, especially when angled. More so, the Ram has relatively thick and curved side armor as well, which could even be difficult to pen. Second, it has a stabilizer, but this only works up to around 16 kilometers per hour, or the cruise control 1 setting. For its third strength, it has a great cannon in terms of excellent armor pen for this BR. Fourth, it has an excellent reload rate that can get down to 4 seconds with the full the ace crew. For its fifth strength, it has a good turret traverse rate that can get up to 20 degrees per second with a fully ace crew. For its sixth strength, while it lacks an HMG, the Ram still has three LMGs, which will help when taking out aircraft and vehicles with exposed crew. For its seventh strength, the Ram 2 has ESS, which provides an excellent smoke screen coming from the engine. For its eighth strength, the Ram 2 has five crew members, which greatly enhances survivability. And finally, you have premium RP and SL bonuses. Now for its weaknesses. First, it has a medium mediocre turning capability as well as subpar off-road capability. Second, this only has access to solid shot AP and a weak HE shell, which limits post-pen damage. For its third weakness, while it provides great armor pen and an excellent reload rate, the cannon is only 57mm, which is also subpar for post-pen damage. And finally, the Ram 2 has a poor reverse speed of only 4.9 km per hour. Now with all that being said, let's get into how I score this vehicle. For armament, I give it a 6.75 out of 10. With a great reload rate, excellent armor pen at this BR, and a low speed stabilizer, the armament on the M4A5 is pretty much all that you need. 
It does, however, lack some of the things that you might want, including a shell larger than 57mm and HE filler inside of the AP shells. Lacking both of these things hugely impacts the post-pen damage of the Ram 2, which means that you need to know the general areas that you can shoot on a tank to destroy its main capabilities, including where the gunner and driver sit, as well as where the ammo racks typically are. Now for mobility, I give this a 5 out of 10. This is a very average vehicle in terms of mobility at this BR. In a down tier, you'll be as fast as anyone else, whereas in an up tier, you might even be slightly slower. It suffers a bit off-road, but is marginally better than average when on trails or on paved surfaces. Again, this vehicle is totally average when it comes to mobility. Now for survivability. I give this a 7.75 out of 10. The survivability is where the Ram 2 shines. While it has a very good or even great armament depending on who you ask, the M4A5's ability to survive is exceptional. It may even be an 8 out of 10 in this category. It has thick armor, few weak spots, plenty of curves and angles on the armor that will deflect shells or simply increase effective armor, and it's a somewhat rare vehicle to see on the battlefield, meaning that people typically won't know how to fight it. Further, it has 5 crew members which adds tons to survivability, and you even get an ESS smoke screen, which is extremely extremely rare and effective at this BR. Now overall, I give this a 7 out of 10. From the moment that I purchased the M4A5 years ago, I knew that this was one of the best tanks at its VR, and it still is, even today. I even listed it as one of the best tanks for beginners, and I still very much feel that way. While mobility isn't anything special, the very good armament as well as the exceptional survivability of the Ram 2 nearly put it in a class of its own. The only real downsides to this vehicle aren't related too much to its performance, but rather where it sits in the tech tree. For one, it almost always gets into full up tiers, and secondly, it's only a rank 2 instead of a rank 3, which means that it cannot participate in most events or even get a lot of tasks done, and it can only research through rank 3 of the American Crown Tech Tree without penalties. This is truly a shame. Now with all that being said, do I recommend the M4A5 Ram 2? Yes, and then some, at least if you don't mind that it's only a rank 2 vehicle. As stated earlier, this vehicle is easily one of my favorite low to mid BR tanks in the entire entire game as it has a great cannon and excellent survivability, with decent enough mobility. For me, you really can't ask for much more. For only 1150 Golden Eagles, or around $7.50 USD, I feel that the M4A5 is a fairly solid deal. But again, it is only rank 2, which places a substantial limitation on how far this can grind through the American Ground Tech Tree, and also means that it has slightly lower RP and SL modifiers compared to rank 3 vehicles. If you don't mind all of that, then the Ram 2 is a must-have in my my opinion. If you do mind that, then either consider picking it up on a sale or going for something else, like the Rank 3 T14, which is kind of like a pseudo Jumbo Sherman. It's only 1750 Golden Eagles, so it isn't too much of a jump from the Ram 2. Either way, I love the M4A5 Ram 2 and wholeheartedly give it my full recommendation and, of course, my Tankenstein seal of approval. The M4A5 Ram 2 is a great tank, especially at its BR. It's just a damn shame that it's only Rank 2. But with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please let me know what you guys think about the Ram 2 in the comments below, as well as even this review if I hit the nail on the head, so to speak. And also, if you guys don't mind, consider subscribing as that helps my channel to grow tremendously. But either way, thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.